the goal sets. So what's the best way of advertising this? Cool idea, by the way. I love these. Really, really cool. I would be a buyer of these. We play soccer down the beach all the time. So the first question is to ask is this. All right, let's, let's, let's play along again. Let's play along again. So whenever you're thinking about any form of advertising, what you have to ask yourself is, who am I trying to sell this product to? And where do they go online? So who are they? And where can I put my advert in front of them? That's the most important questions when it comes to any marketing, not just Amazon marketing or whatever it may be, but for marketing anything, who you're trying to sell to and where do they go online? So who do you think is the buyer, the person who's actually going to pay, who is the buyer for this product? What do you reckon? I don't know if this is John's or not. He didn't give me the link, but... Parents, I reckon parents, mum specifically, the father of the children, grandparents, holiday makers, ooh, mums and dads. Now, I will tell you, everybody that's put down mums and dads, um, here's the thing, uh, whilst as blokes like to think we're in control of the money, we ain't. Uh, I think it's something like 81% of the buying decisions in all households are made by women. And so typically, for the majority of things that you sell, you're selling to ladies. Now, it may be the case that the guy's gone, hey, we've got to get those. But it has to go through the bank of mum before it gets, gets allowed, okay? So typically, you're selling the person buying the product is mum. Typically, that's the case, okay? So that's one thing to consider. Who is going to be the person who this for? Probably going to be for teenage boys. What do you reckon? Teenage boys. Lots of you have said that already. I agree. And where are they online? So where do... Uh, you could say girls, but I'm going to say it's going to be mostly boys buying this. And we're just playing the we're just playing the odds here. All right. I know some girls play soccer, but in general, it's mostly guys that play soccer. And let's not get into a whole PC discussion. I just go on. Where is the money? That's all. That's all I'm really focused on at this particular junction. All right. So, where are teenage boys spending a lot of their time online? Where do they spend a lot of time online? Lauren, I'm with you. Victoria. Matt Grant says Facebook. No, 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 no. They're not on Facebook, mate. Computer games. Absolutely. We can we can run ads in computer games. That's interesting. <laughs> Neil Wilson. Yep. Justin. Yep. Tony. Yep. Absolutely. I'm with you. Uh, and, and all the answers I can give that weren't related to porn are uh, YouTube. And I'm with you. YouTube is a big one. So I would imagine, were it me, because um, what I'm trying to do now is I'm going to use YouTube to put my advert in front of these teenage boys. And you've already said very, very smartly that they are Xbox and Fortnite and gaming, as well as uh, Minecraft things like that. So let's just open up uh, YouTube because we can. Now let's go search for uh, Fortnite. So we can, of course, put our advert in front of people who are also interested in Fortnite, which we know will be the case. So what we're going to go for here is we're going to go for Put the advert in front of these teenage boys and then get them to get mum to buy the product. That's what we're looking to do here. So make the sale to the teenage boys and then mum will buy the product. That's the, that's the strategy we're going to undertake. All right. So you can run advertisements on YouTube for Amazon products extremely successfully. Like it's 
For me, it's nuts how well these work. It's nuts how well these work. Two different ways of running the adverts. We could, and you don't want to do this first way I'm going to tell you because of our strategy, but sometimes this way works best. It wouldn't in this case. You could um, put an advert right here. So right now we've got these little things here. Insane timing. What the flip? Ninja clutches, random squads. We could put our advert at the top here, okay? We could put it there, all about our soccer goal, and then somebody would click onto it, watch our advert all about the soccer goals, and that would be one strategy. But for this particular thing, it doesn't work so well. So let's just try opening it up and see what happens. Nope, we don't want that one. So what I'm looking for is, nope, I don't want that one is a video that's been monetized, because not all videos are monetized, but the majority are. Maybe it's because of just what I'm watching, and maybe it's also because, um, dope, here you go, here's one from earlier. Okay. All right, so you would have seen on YouTube that you get a lot of advertisements before, during, and after the videos themselves. That's YouTube monetizing their own platform. You can get a, a place a your video for your product, I'll talk about the video in just a second, onto YouTube and for a few cents get clicks to your product page. Or you can also get it for free. So here's one video and you can see this countdown in the bottom right hand corner where you then get to skip. Let's just play it. So you can see it counting down, three, two, one, skip. Now the skip comes up. So notice this video is still playing. Now so far, this video hasn't cost this person anything at all. So they're getting all this free advertising, hasn't cost them anything at all yet. This is still free. Look at all the great information you could be sharing. Look at all the stuff you could be doing. Look at all the selling you could be doing. And there we go. So now we get to 30 seconds. And now, after 30 seconds of free advertising, now we pay. So you get 30 seconds of free, and then you pay for what's called a video view. But it's not until 30 seconds that that happens, unless they click on this free trial thing, which takes them to their landing page, which in our case would be Amazon, of course. Or they click on this little advert up here, free trial again, up here. So if they click there, that's different, then you pay. But the videos themselves, you get 30 seconds of free advertising before you pay, which is one of the many reasons I love, I love videos on YouTube. So if it were me, that's what I would use, John. I would be using this. I'd be using videos. I would do a video that uh, had the product being used by some teenage boys having a great time playing soccer on the beach um, with a link to click through onto Amazon. And I would run that traffic, bit of a technical term there. I would use the search term of things like Fortnite uh, and all those other games that boys at that age play. I don't even know what they are. Um, and so that my advert showed on those videos. That's what I would do if I was in your suit. I covered this in great detail. If you're in my inner circle, I don't know if you are. I did a inner circle in June, all about video ads. They're, for me, a ludicrously good way of getting a lot of uh, very, very cheap, but very qualified traffic to your Amazon listing. Super, super cool. Hope that helps. Uh, what DIY video software do you recommend? Uh, I use for the majority of my videos, an uh, iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy, whatever it might be, always in, uh, not in portrait, but in landscape, because that, then it follows the same layout of the video. That's landscape versus portrait. And then the video software I use, uh, either Camtasia, if you're on a PC, or ScreenFlow, if you're on a Mac, or for a free version, I think Windows Media Player, you can edit videos on that. 
and iMovies on Mac, you can edit on that for free. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business and the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon and indeed Anthony who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.